Hello, my name is Mark Kilmurray. I'm directing and playing Richard III, um, as we've talked about in the last uh, blogs to camera. This one is about language and a little bit about language and a little bit about the plays themselves, why they were written, how they were written and why they were not printed in uh, Shakespeare's lifetime. So the language, iambic pentameter is what people talk about when they're talking about blank verse, uh, particularly Shakespeare. Now that means iambic is a weak stress and a strong stress, didum, and there are um, there are ten of those in a uh, verse of Shakespeare. So it's didum, 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 didum. So it's five beats but ten stresses, and that comes from the pentameter side. So penta means five in Greek. A meter is a measurement of verse, and in this case, with five feet, um, the two syllables in each foot usually, which is very hard to walk. In. Um, so you have iambic pentameter uh, will go my horse, my horse, my kingdom for a horse and the strong stresses are indicating the words that need to be stressed for the important bit of the line. So my horse is the important bit, horse, that's what Richard wants in his last line of the play, uh, not a spoiler, plot spoiler hopefully, um, my horse, my kingdom for a horse, kingdom for a horse. The stresses can go over uh, a word too, so two words, so you don't have to um, think that the stresses have to be contained within one word, they can go over two words, uh, different syllables. So my horse, my horse, my kingdom for a horse uh, in iambic pentameter means that my horse, my horse, my kingdom for a horse. So all the important words are picked out in that sentence. And the important, the way of looking at this, if you're having problems with, with the meter, which some people can do, um, even people have been doing it for many, many years, is to think of the important words in the sentence and how you would naturally stress them in everyday life. Shakespeare wrote in this way and adopted this form, first started by Christopher Marlowe and a little bit before him, but Christopher Marlowe made Ionic Pentameter a, a, a thing of the theatre. Shakespeare took that form because it sounds as close to natural speech as possible and it also is close to the heartbeat. De dum de dum de dum de dum de dum so you have the beats of the heart, and one breath on one line makes it seem very natural, even though you're speaking blank verse. So my horse, my horse, my kingdom for a horse. You don't need to overemphasize my horse, my horse, my kingdom, because that wouldn't be natural. My horse, my horse, my kingdom for a horse. It's an emphasis on the important word. It's also about being real and down to earth. So you haven't got my horse, my horse, as you may see in old Shakespeare, uh, Victorian influenced deliveries. It should be just naturally said. So really, you, if you're listening to it, you're not sure that they are actually speaking blank verse. It should sound very, very real, apart from, of course, the beauty of the words and the language and the way Shakespeare has put those together.